don't know if it'll catch on. It's just kind of happened. We'll see if anyone plays it. I couldn't get my front foot out of the way, it was too late for that, so that was the only way I could hit it. This is the nutmeg. I get in a bad position and then that's the only way I can play the ball other than getting out, so <laughs> it's just lucky I hit it. They've seen me do it before, so not anything new to them. One of the net bowlers, I'm sure they were trying to bowl it in the right place for me to hit it. And one of them did, so I hit it and he had a laugh. But I don't really read that much. I tend to look at the pictures, so I've seen this one a lot. It's quite funny, because I never thought that would happen. And it was well, like an accidental thing, so it's pretty cool to, to be on there. My mum works for the Foreign Office, so I was originally born in, in Tokyo where she was working at the time. She was posted out in Holland and Poland as well, and it's allowed me to be uh, kind of adaptable to conditions and, and different cultures and things like that. So I played all that I could really, football, tennis, hockey, netball, basketball, a lot, the lot really, as much as I could because I just love sport. And we come back to England and I'd joined a football club, but also a cricket club in the summer. I just had more friends in, in the cricket club, so I decided to stay with cricket. I think over the last year I've learnt a lot about my game and improved technically. It's kind of a culmination of the last year or so and just learning a bit more about my game and how far I can take it really and yeah I feel like I've matured as a batter. And she's managed to get that away. That will be her maiden hundred. Before it happened I was like oh god what am I going to do? Is it going to be natural am I just going to play it cool? But turns out it was pretty emotional so it, yeah it was brilliant to get my first hundred and hopefully, hopefully I can get a few more in my ears. Got to my 100, so I thought I might have a little bit of fun here. I'd faced that bowler before in our series last summer. I knew what she was going to bowl. Just got myself into a good position, hit it over the road. That is now three sixes in a row in the New Zealand game and we needed to win that to get through to the semis but not only to get through to the semis but to just keep that winning habit for us. Yeah, I take a little bit more pride in, in that innings but obviously to get my first 100 was brilliant too so yeah, enjoying myself. <laughs>